What do you want to do today, babe? I've had long hair for a long time now, and I just got into getting layers, and I've loved the layers, but now I feel like the length is too long. Like, I want something a little shorter. <laughs> I think the layers are actually a good length because they don't really fit into a ponytail already. Like, I have to tuck these behind my ear. Do you have any inspiration photos? So his hair is a lot shorter than yours. It looks like all of his layers are really pretty long for mm -hmm. the most part. Honestly, keeping what you have here, maybe even keeping what you have already in through the ends of your hair. Curly hair, it always looks like there's more going on than there is. Mm -hmm. The main difference is like, you can almost see like a little gap from his hairline to his shoulder, right? Yeah. So there's like a little bit of space there. It doesn't look like it's connected into bottom layers. It looks like it's almost just like a top square layer. Yeah, so I like that. I think that's my main inspiration. Okay. I still wanna be able to fit it into a ponytail. We could cut at least two inches off and not have to worry, right? Yeah, maybe three. Okay, so we've got some room to work but with. But you have like leftover square layers that honestly look pretty good. I feel like when your ends get a little wispier, we actually like your hair, mm -hmm. but I don't wanna thin your hair out mm -hmm. because I don't want it to feel too wispy. Sure. So I'm gonna leave your old layers, dust a little bit of your top layer, maybe texturize in there a teeny bit, and then take two inches off of your length and see how we like it. Cool. Ruskin has been dying for me to cut his hair shorter like this for a while. Never want to do it. I don't know why I'm so attached. I'm cutting this because in that photo, it looked like he only had like a teensy bit of layering on top. Otherwise, it looked like his hair was like one length overall, but it had like a teeny bit of popping up right in this area. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're creating. A bit of a shorter to longer layer, but just in this top section so that it like sprinkles down around the edges. We're not taking any bulk out of like down here or anything. And I'm doing it first so that when I bring the length up, I can kind of see where those layers are falling. And I like to just point cut it because I don't like it to fall super perfect or heavy. I want the edges to just be like a teeny bit tousled looking, like where there's no lines. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go in and get rid of some length. Let's look at how much his hair jumps up when these curls kind of come in a bit here. You're probably two inches shorter when it's completely curly. Mm -hmm. In that case, if you want a gap, maybe right in here. And when it's dry, it'll be a little shorter. Exactly. Oh, you're gonna love this. What do you think? I love it. You always love a little man bob. I always come back to the man bob. Nice. So none of that top stuff reaches. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is looking so much better. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. So you've still got some layers in there. Yeah, I like that a lot. This is what I do to my clients when I'm talking to them and I want them to move. I go, that way I don't have to stop my story. I mean, I don't know. That's not gonna gap up as much as that photo. Mm -hmm. Do you want it shorter? Maybe take more off of the back to where it's like mm. like slightly up. Mm. You really are getting a bob. Mm. Okay, I'm liking it. I love it. To finish, we're gonna diffuse your hair. So we're gonna go in with a little texture tonic. How, how do you sell that product to clients? Just use it. <laughs> <laughs> like this is gonna give you hold and texture. You can blow dry it in. Mm -hmm. You can put it in dry hair. You can put it in wet hair. You can scrunch it. It's like a sea salt and sugar spray or something. So it's gonna give like grit to the hair, but it's also gonna give hold to the hair. It's also gonna kind of define everything, like define your dry hair, mm -hmm. define your wet hair, enhance your curl, give you peaciness. I tell everyone, it feels like your hair when you get out of the water at the beach. It's kind of thick and gritty and grippy. Mm -hmm. It helps enhance your natural texture. Yes. It's my favorite product. And it smells so good. So now we're gonna do a little diffusing. I'm gonna start at the bottom because I want your ends to curl up. Recap, we do have a little gap here. Which is the main thing I was looking for. We've got some layers yeah. that just pop up a touch throughout. You kept the length of your face frame so that you can still 
fit those behind your ear. We can even get you in a ponytail. I think you look better than that guy. Thank you. Yeah, it's just fun, you know? I just, I like the way it feels. It's nice just to do something different, and I think you nailed it. I think it actually looks close enough to the picture. I mean, his hair is different from mine. I probably have a lot more of it. We have so much hair. And so yours gets bulky a bit easier. You're welcome. Does his hair look similar to the photo? Do you like the haircut? Should we take it shorter? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.